All right, so you want to take a front bumper off of a 2020 era Ford EcoSport. Uh, this is the titanium model. As you can see, I've already started tearing this apart, but I'm at the point where, you know, I need to share some knowledge with you guys. So if you're trying to take this front bumper apart, obviously, anybody that's taking a front bumper off, you're gonna come over here to the fender well. Okay, and you're gonna start seeing what's going on. So there's two push pins here to remove. There's an eight millimeter there, or no, I'm sorry, that's a seven millimeter. Um, so you need a seven millimeter down here. And then if you come up here, immediately take the headlight out. Um, you're gonna have four 10 millimeter, um, either four or, yeah, either four or five, um, you know, bolts that come along here, along the top, nothing new. You're gonna have one push pin back here. Um, this comes off with this tab right here. Um, I chose to take it off completely. That obviously just goes in there. So you're gonna undo that. So that way you can give yourself some wiggle room, some flex. Cause to take the headlight out, it's super easy. You just have two eight millimeter, one here and one here. And then the headlight just comes up and out. You might get hung up here in this corner, but it'll come right out. It's just, it's super simple. Just pick up straight up and out. Um, to get the side bumper bracket off, you have three eight millimeter bolts to get out. One here, one a little bit farther down in the middle, and then one you can access through the fender well. Um, it's kind of a pain, so you might want to take either, there's gonna be a bolt or a push pin for the fender liner, or you can use a pair of pliers or screwdriver and bend this back but it's in a really awkward position. It's tucked up in behind here. Um, this is the bracket um, guide pin. Um, so that's not actually the pole. It's, it's up in there. It's in a weird spot. Underneath for the wheel well liner. You're gonna have a couple push pins and then a few bolts. Nothing crazy on the on the sides. For underneath along the radiator, you have a bunch of bolts. Um, they were actually missing on this car. It's obviously been off once before, so I can't tell you what size they were. Um, otherwise I would. As you can see the wheel well liner is broken over there. So just undo a couple push pins and then either seven or eight millimeter. I'm gonna assume eight millimeter for down here. Not quite sure, like I said. And then to take the fog lights out, I'll stitch that part in. Um, I did a separate uh, little, little spot for that. And then it just comes off. It just pulls out like that. All right, sorry for any background noise you may hear. It might be loud. Uh, just let you know right now ahead of time. Putting this video out there just due to the lack of information for this bumper uh, or poor video quality. This is a 2020 uh, Ford EcoSport Titanium. We're gonna take this trim bezel off to get access to the fog light in case you gotta change out the uh, headlight bulb. I'm actually taking the whole bumper off, which is why you see the headlight out. Um, if you feel like taking the headlight out is easier for you, you're wrong. Um, there's no access. Potentially on the passenger side, I saw in one video there, it's, there's more access, but on the driver's side, you have to do it this way. Um, to take the headlight out, in case you're extremely curious, there's two eight millimeter bolts, one here and one here. Wiggle it up and out. It might get hung up on this edge. And then there's just one plug right on the back. And this is what the plug looks like. So to get this bezel out, start over here. I have uh, this tool um, from, you can type that in online. Um, it'll come right up. 
there's any other tools that you can use, any sort of plastic wedge, um, you know, some sort of screwdriver. You're just gonna start coming in here and you're gonna work your way up. There's a couple clips here. Okay, now, now there's nothing over here. There's just tabs, two tab, two guide tabs. Okay, so the tabs that click in are down here and then up along here. And I'll show as I'm getting this off. This came off easier the second time. Um, just, I took it off already and put it back on. So for you, it might be a little stiff. Um, I'm working in the cold right now. Um, it's winter time here in Ohio. So this is how I would take it off if you're working in the cold. Summertime, this should come off very easy. So I just started here, right, right along here, and then just work your way up. So there's the second tab. Okay, now don't worry about getting it out. Just try to release it. Okay, so I'm gonna come back down here. It gets hung up right here on this edge. So if you can get it up and over that, you're almost home free. Okay, I just take my fingers. Okay, so it's still clicked in up here. So I'm gonna take my tool, whatever it may be, something smooth, pop it, comes right off. Next step is you have a screw here that is flathead and or Torx bit. It is a T30 Torx bit. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. I'm gonna show you how to get it out from there. All right, so now that you got that bolt out, we can go ahead and get the fog light itself out. I did take it out once and put it back in, so that way I can make this shorter. Um, if you look here, this tab might be behind the bumper fascia itself. So if you lift it up and over, it gets you access to slide this up and out. So it's gonna be like a guide pin here and a guide pin here that holds the fog light in place with the help of the bolt, obviously. So once you get this up and over from here, I have a pair of angle pliers. Um, they're Lyle, L-I-S-L-E, um, fender um, push pin tool removal. Um, you have anything like a screwdriver or maybe even like a small, um, you know, pry bar. So once you get up, it up and over that, just pry from here, but also keep an eye on right here. Cause if it's fighting to go up and over that, it's not gonna wanna come out. So just get it up and over that. Honestly, mine's loose enough now, so I can just pick it up and out, and then either pull forward, okay, or take the same tool that you had and come up behind here and pry off of right there. So this is hidden behind the bezel, so any damage you might do to the plastic, it's not gonna hurt anything. If you're worried about the integrity of the paint you can take a touch-up bottle that you have and unscrew the bottom and that'll have clear coat in it and then you can put clear coat over the plastic while everything's drying while you're changing the bulb out let's go ahead and tilt this forward here's those two guide pins i was talking about click in there and click in there and then there's also this plastic tab that sits right in there and then just disconnect it or twist the bulbs out and replace them. Figured that'd be helpful for those that are trying to change their fog light headlight out.